Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, the somehow the terms which are actually related as well and some because of uh, similarities sometimes they are creating confusion as well. So we are going to discuss routed protocol and routing protocol. So what are uh, those protocols? So first let's discuss the routed protocol. So the routed protocols are the protocols which actually define the packet structure. If you remember, the packet uh, is a network layer entity. What happens? It takes our data and it takes, uh, it puts header on top of that and then we call it a packet. So this is a network layer entity and this is the job of a routed protocol. And the second job of routed protocol is that it defines addressing, network addressing, or the logical addressing, which we uh, call them IP addressing. So we need to have this IP address that is 32 bit in IPv4. So this is going to provide the addresses to the nodes. This is the job of routed protocol. So you can see this interface, this interface, this node will have, they all will have a logical address. This is the job of routed protocol. And then these logical addresses actually help routers to locate subnets. If we don't have, for example, if you don't have these logical addresses, then router will not have any hint that where to send that data. So this logical addressing is going to help, help the routers. An example for these routed protocols are IPv4, so that is Internet Protocol version 4, and as well as IPv6. So these are the examples of routed protocols. So having discussed this uh, routed protocol, let's move to routing protocol. Now the routing protocols, these are the protocols which are used to exchange routing information. And routing information is needed to find out the path. To find out, so for example, in this case, we have multiple paths from this node to this node. Which path to follow? This is the job of, uh, normally this is the job of router, but the router needs some protocols to do that, and those protocols are actually routing protocol. So, the, with this routing protocol, these all router exchange their routing information. So in this way, they exchange that information to each other that how to reach to different destinations. And then routing protocol defines messages and rules to learn routes. So these messages are to are used to learn routes that which route to go how many possible routes are there. And these routing protocols actually fill up the routing tables with possible paths to destination. So they actually, so this routing table is actually in the memory of the router having information about different paths, but this information is actually filled up by this routing protocol. And then finally they select the best path and send information so like you can see to the destination so as an example we can have different routing protocol like rip we have this eigrp that's enhanced interior gateway routing protocol we also have open shortest path first routing protocol intermediate system to intermediate system isis routing protocol and we also have bgp border gateway routing protocol. So these are the routing protocol. So it means the routed protocol is actually carries our data. Our data is in the routing protocol. So that is uh, the packet that gives the packet structure. But how to send, how to how to forward or how to how to send that information to the ultimate destination that is done with the help of routing protocol. So the messages that they both need, need each other, it means routed protocol need 
uh, needs routing protocol and routing protocol of course needs routed protocol so they both need each other and we actually as a user of network we actually need both of them so yes this was some difference between routing and routed protocol and uh, yes thank you